Welcome to Solution Studio. This is a free series on IoT Internet of Things using Cisco Packet Tracer. If you like these videos, please subscribe to follow along with this series. Also like and share the video to help spread this series. Hello and welcome to this episode and in this episode we are going to register some devices, IoT devices, to the IoT registration server. As you can see in here I have the IoT registration server. Let's go and open the server. Let's go to the configurations. You can see that this is the IP address for this server and also the service that is enabled on this server is this IoT server and it's running and it's on. The username and password is home and home. And as you might have noticed that this IoT server is not located in the local area network but rather it's located over the internet. So the connection of any devices that we are going to create in our local area network they can access the IoT server over the internet. Now let's go to the tablet and try to access the home gateway and we would see how many devices we have registered to this home gateway. As you can see, we have three devices currently registered to this home gateway. Let's go and close this IoT monitor and go to the web browser. Let's enter the address for the IoT server that is 203.0.0.3. As you can see we are able to access the IoT registration server login and the username was home and password was also home. Now as you can see we have logged in to this server but we do not have any devices registered yet. So we are going to go and register some devices to this IoT server. Let's minimize this tablet. Let's go to our fan in here and we will try to register this fan to the IoT server. Let's go to the config. We will say the IoT server is going to be a remote server. The address for this service is 203.0.0.3 home home. Connect. And as you can see, this device is now connected to the IoT registration server. Let's go and do the same thing for the lamp and door as well. And that's it, we have registered three devices to this new IoT server. Now let's go to the tablet once again and see the devices. As you can see, all three devices has appeared on our IoT server. And we also have the ability to control some of them. For example, for the fan, I want to turn it on. Now as you can see, it's turning. And if I say hi, it will turn at a higher speed. And that's it. Thank you for staying with me in this episode and I hope to see you in the coming episodes.